Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can set up the 4K features on the Xbox One S so you can get the most out of a 4K TV. Now the TV in this video is a Samsung 40 inch 4K TV and that's the model number there. It was around about 400 UK pounds. Now when you do this yourself, you might well find as soon as you plug your Xbox One S into a 4K TV, it all happens automatically. But that's not the case on all TVs. And on the Samsung TV, you do have to change the settings on it to enable things like HDR, which is the high dynamic range, which allows more colours and uh, more vibrant use of the colours. So if we have a look, first of all, what we need to do is, you need to get your controller and we need to go to settings... Go to all settings and then go down to display and sound and go to video output. And if you have a look here at the moment, on this TV it's down as 1080p. So what we need to do is we need to go down to advanced video settings and press A. And then if you have a look here there's a checkbox and I want to allow HDR by pressing A and I also want to allow 4K and press A again and now it will say keep this setting your display will go back to the last setting so because I can still see the background I know it has gone through so I'm going to press yes obviously if you've got a problem with it then don't press yes if you can't see the, the screen in the back now what I will say is just while you're setting it up use the original lead that you got with the Xbox One S because that is a HDMI 2 lead so use the lead even if it means you know propping up your Xbox One S near the TV because the lead's quite short just plug it in because then you know that it's set up properly because I will do a future video on this but if you're going to use a cheap pound shop HDMI lead then it won't work and I'll show that in a future video so now if we go back to here, we've now allowed 4K and we've allowed HDR. And now I'm going to go back and this time on TV resolution, I'm going to press A and I'm going to go down to 4K UHD and I'm going to press A. Okay, and again it says, do you want to keep this resolution? I'm going to press yes because again I can see in the background, I can still see the video output so I know that it is actually working. So I'm going to press yes. Okay. Now, that's 4K and you think that's going to be fine, but if you go to Advanced Video Settings again and press A, and this time go down to 4K TV Details, you will see here that although it says your TV supports 4K UHD, nothing else is supported. So it doesn't support 4K 10 bits at 24 hertz, 50 hertz, 60 hertz and your TV does not support HDR10 for gaming. So at the moment, it's not really supporting anything. Now you might think that your TV is not capable of doing this, but it is actually a setting that you need to change in your TV. So what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna just go back there and we're gonna now get the remote control from the actual TV. So I'm gonna zoom out a bit here. So if you get the remote control, obviously your TV is gonna be different, but on this one here, I'm gonna to go to settings here on this Samsung one. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go on to picture here and I'm going to go down to expert settings. So I'm going to go to the right and then I'm going to go down to expert settings and press the middle button here. And then if I go all the way down, on this Samsung TV it's actually called HDMI UHD Color, which is this one down the bottom here. And again, I'm going to press the middle button. And it has here HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and HDMI 3. The problem with this TV is because it is one of the cheaper TVs, it only allows the UHD color on HDMI 1. And this is a mistake a lot of people are making. So if you have a look there, at the moment it's off on HDMI 1. So I'm going to change that now to on. But I'm not plugged in to HDMI 1 at the back. So if I get my camera here just to show you, if you have a look here, at the moment my Xbox, which is this lead here, is plugged in to 
HDMI 3, I need to move it down to HDMI 1, which is this one here. So if your TV is absolutely full at the back, you are going to have to rearrange things. Now you might be lucky, you might have a better TV and you might find that all your ports are enabled. Or you might find that, for example, ports 1, 2 and 3 are enabled, but ports 4 are not. So you're going to have to look up on that to see which ports are enabled for the HDR. So at the moment I know on this cheaper TV it's only enabled on HDMI 1. So it's not a problem, I'm just going to swap the leads around and then whatever was plugged into HDMI 1 you can put into HDMI 3 because chances are if you're just plugging in a set-top box or something then it's not going to be using HDR anyway. Right so now, remember the TV now is on HDMI 3 but I've plugged the Xbox into HDMI 1 so we're going to have to go to Source and we're going to have to change it over to HDMI 1 which is actually this one here okay and now it's come back to this one here now let me just go back to the settings of the TV again so we went down to Expert Settings just to double check that now Expert Settings HDMI UHD color, so we've turned it on on HDMI 1, so that's fine. So let's close that. And another thing I want to show you is if you were to go left and then go up to special viewing mode, on this mode here, there's a couple of things you can do. So on game mode, what this will do is, game mode is a special viewing mode that enhances your gameplay by optimizing frame rate and reducing blur and it gives you a more responsive and accurate games experience. So basically, if you want that one, if you see what it says here, it says enable game mode for optimal speed when playing video games with a gaming console. Once enabled, there might be a slight decline in the graphics quality. So that's up to you whether you would rather it be more responsive and have a slight dip in the graphics quality. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn game mode on. Now, as you can see now, HDR plus mode is off. So what HDR plus mode is, that's basically, it's a mode that will further enhance HDR material for more exciting images, but also brings all your standard dynamic range content up to par for optimal viewing on your TV. So if you would rather have, for example, uh, the H HDR better, then turn off game mode, and then you can turn on HDR mode, but you can't have them both on at the same time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up with HDR plus mode off and game mode on. Yeah, because it will still have HDR anyway. So let's exit that. And now if we go back to the Xbox here, if I go to 4K details, you can see now that everything is now enabled so it says here your TV supports 4k it says watching movies and TV it supports 4k 10 bit at 24 50 Hertz and 60 Hertz so that's going to be the frame rate your TV supports HDR video and playing games your TV supports 4k 10 bit at 60 Hertz and it supports HDR gaming so basically they're the settings you're going to have to do so right now I've got game mode enabled and I've got it on 4k and with HDR as well. Okay, so that's it now. So hopefully when you uh, go to play games like, for example, for Forza Horizons 3, you should find that the graphics are better and also that the HDR is better as well. So hopefully you found that video useful. I'm gonna do a follow-up video now about how to use the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray on the Xbox One S and I'm also going to do a, a video on the HDMI leads to use because you don't have to, although it comes with a HDMI 2 lead, you don't have to stick to that lead. As long as you stay away from the real cheap lead, you should find that if you bought a lead within the last few years, if it's of good enough quality, it will probably work. So I'll do a video on that as well. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out. Hopefully you'll find that even if you have a different manufacturer of TV it will still be under a similar kind of settings if you go to you know display or picture it should be under there somewhere okay take care thank you bye now